Power compression. Now, this isn't really an official definition of what power compression is, but this covers it in the most basic terms. It's when the resistance of a speaker, now I'm talking about a single driver, not the speaker cabinet itself with all the speakers in it, I'm talking about the individual drivers. When the resistance of those speakers increase, it results in a loss of power. So let's take a look at an amplifier and let's say we're just running one channel out of the amplifier. It doesn't matter if it's stereo or bridged. And we're running into, let's say a dual 18 sub and our amplifier is 500 watts and our dual 18 is 500 watts. So what is power compression? Well, the power compression, the issues with it involve the voice coil and as the temperature of the voice coil increases, the resistance of the speaker increases as well. So when we're talking about the voice coil temperature, it could be due to the ambient temperature as well as too much power being fed to a speaker for too long. So as I said, as the resistance goes up, what happens is that speaker, your 500 watt speaker, is now becoming less and less. So as the resistance goes up, what happens is that less and less power is actually produced from the speaker. So as the voice coil heats up, the resistance starts increasing and the output of your speaker begins to drop. That's all it is. So even though you still have 500 watts going to a speaker cabinet, it's pretty common to see probably a 3 dB drop when resistance is, becomes too high. And in some cases, depending upon the quality of the speaker and how well it was manufactured, you can almost get a 6 dB drop in output from your speaker due to, due to the voice coil becoming hot which is, results in a high amount of resistance. So here, this is what happens when uh, power compression occurs. Uh, this is a 15 inch woofer. As you can tell, the whole ring around there should be a nice uh, brass color, but it's not. It is solid black, which means this thing burned up. And it was, it was too much power for too long and I, I'm not too sure what happened, but I can probably figure out that it was somebody when they were using the system, they were fighting power compression. So manufacturers addressing voice coil overheating. Now some manufacturers will address this, others do not. So if you've seen the term ferrofluid floating around out there, that's actually a, it's, actu it's an actual thing. It's not a marketing hype or anything like that. And what it is, it's fluid that sits around inside the uh, assembly of the speaker. And what it does is it draws heat away from, basically draws heat away from the center of the speaker. Uh, it, to my understanding, it does work. I've never tested it. Couldn't tell you too much more about it, but ferrofluid is in some drivers and it does work. Uh, some manufacturers have done vented voice coils and uh, those I really haven't seen too much of those uh, but the way they have the venting around the speakers is to allow the air to move in and around it to help cool it and one of the other uh, things that manufacturers have done are place heat sinks on drivers uh, there may be some other things out there that they're doing uh, to cool voice coils, but these seem to be about the top three. So are you experiencing power compression? Now, if you run for front of house, or maybe you have heard um, a big drop in the overall volume of a show, but mostly if you're running front of house, you can tell because you're the one on the board that's running the faders. So, uh, a big indicator that you may be running, uh, having issues with power compression is if you don't have enough rig for the event. In other words, if you are 
finding that you have to run your system constantly loud. Maybe your amplifiers are going into clipping more. Maybe you've got the faders pushed up on the board a lot more. This is very common. Uh, not having enough rig for an event, especially for outdoor shows as compared to indoor shows, it's easy to fall into a, a power compression issue. And once again, if you're at front of house and you're listening to it, and let's say the kick drum doesn't sound quite right, it doesn't sound loud like it used to, or maybe the vocals seem like they're softer. So what do you do? You go down and you give the vocals, uh, you give the vocals more power, maybe give the kick drum more power. All of these things are signs that you're running your own system into a power compression issue. And uh, once again, you can't really fight it by adding more power because when you're adding more power to a system that's already in power compression, you're just going to make it worse. So another thing to look at, uh, this especially for outdoor shows, is the ambient temperature. If uh, you're doing a show and it's uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and even maybe sometimes, depending upon where you are, it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit outside, it's not going to probably take very long for your system to go into, go into some type of power compression. You could easily lose half of your acoustical wattage from your system just by running it uh, into a power compression issue. So if it's an outdoor show and there's a lot of heat, just plan on your system possibly not performing as well or like it should uh, as compared to uh, running your system indoors. Now this one here, and speaking of outdoor shows, is are the speaker cabinets sitting in, in the sunlight? Now, if you're outdoors and you're doing a show and it's cool and it feels great to you, but most speaker cabinets are black. Black absorbs sunlight and that sunlight is just converted into heat. So while it may be cool on the outside for you, the ambient temperature within the speaker cabinet can increase drastically. And especially if you have powered cabinets sitting in the sunlight, the power from that amplifier, just the radiating heat from the amplifier, even a Class D amplifier, that can easily increase the temperature inside the speaker cabinet. So if you're doing a show outside, this, this may sound ridiculous, but even if it's cool, you need to keep the speaker cabinets covered with something. Keep them insulated um, from the sunlight. That will that will greatly reduce the possibility of uh, power compression in your system. So as always, I say in, in these uh, videos, research the topic, learn more about it. And as always, thanks for watching.